Hey everyone, it's Voss. You're watching the Voss Coin YouTube channel, and today we've got the Amp Miner Z9 Mini. Today we're going to be reviewing the Bitmain Amp Miner Z9. We just got our first one and actually second one in today. So within the last 12 hours, just to cut right to it, how much is it making? So there's a lot of things you can mine on it on Equihash. A lot of the coins still have not forked. We had some videos covering this topic. But it looks like for at least several months, these major coins are not going to be forking. So I put it on Zencash yesterday, and in about 12 hours, I mined about one Zencash, more or less. And that was with the unit with a moderate overclock. Okay, so the, you can overclock these miners, which I'll get to more in a second. But from the factory, Bitmain says that this miner, which is the first to market Equihash ASIC miner, is going to do 10,000 sold at about 300 watts well I'm not recommending or endorsing this and you do all this at your own risk but we maxed out the overclock at a 750 frequency you're not gonna believe what this is averaging out at 16k souls that's right so about 24 1080 ti's our second amp miner z9 is actually maxing out around 16.5 or 16.6 average souls that's insane so with two amp miner z9 minis you can replace a farm of 48 NVIDIA 1080 Ti's mining Equihash. That's crazy. I'm not saying these are a direct replacement. Obviously, this is a specialized device. It can only do one thing. Well, that's to be two things. One thing, and that would be mining the Equihash algorithm, which is now an ASIC algorithm, sadly to see. As always, setup with an amp miner is a breeze. This one especially, you've only got four PCIe ports, and those are six pin that you need to plug in. So you could use pretty much any power supply. Personally, I'm using EVGA 750 watt Platinums because I had them, and they're nice, and they're going to do the job for me. After plugging it all in, it's going to automatically turn on. So then you're going to need to log into it remotely through your browser, any computer will work, Windows, Mac, whatever. And within there, you will just simply put in the IP address. I personally log into my router, and it tells me all of my attached devices. But you can use an application like Who's on My Wi-Fi to have that validated for you if you're unable to quickly get into your router. Out of the box, the Antminer Z9 was doing almost 11K souls, which is already more than they reported this miner would do. After we maxed out the overclock, again, not recommended, but we're doing it to 750 frequency, we're averaging over 16K. That is insane. And uh, thanks to Crazy Dane, who's also a member of the Bitcoin Talk community, and we actually, he's the one who we uh, interviewed in the solar farm. He actually uh, hooked his up to a meter, and, it, and at the max overclock, he's pulling 342 watts from the wall. I paid about 2300 bucks out the door for the Antminer Z9. That's with shipping, that's with customs. That doesn't include the power supply. You add that, you're looking more like 2400, 2500 bucks so that you got your base point there. They've already dropped the price. They gave me a coupon code, which is total they're totally ridiculous. The, the Bitmain market practices are absolutely awful. It's a big reason why they get so much negativity and hate. People also think that they mine with their miners in secret and so forth. Um, you know, they have stated that they don't, but obviously they wouldn't say, yeah, of course we do that. Uh, you know, some people have been frustrated with the quality of the miners, the actual, they see dust on them and so forth. Personally, I haven't noticed that too bad on my miners, maybe my T9 Plus that I recently got, but the Z9 Mini looked brand new out of the box and it smelled very new. Okay, so maybe that was taking place in the past. Maybe they're not doing that. Maybe they're rushing these Z9s to market. I don't know. I'm just telling you my little two cents here for whatever it's worth. If you're having troubles getting the Z9 hooked up to a pool, that may not be your fault. There are a lot of pools that are not ready to accept the ASIC miners. Their hash rate is extreme compared to other normal rigs. So if you're having problems connecting to a pool and you're sure that it's right, that pool is not supporting the ASIC miners yet. So I'll have some pools that I've used in the description below that you can copy and paste into your Ant Miner Z9 Mini. The Z9 Mini, as far as build quality goes, it's pretty nice if it's in the palm of my hand. That was cool to see. What I don't like is the outlook. With some other competitor eight Equihash miners coming to market fast, for example, the Inno Silicon, which is doing a hash rate five times the initial reported hash rate, but it's actually only going to be about three times better if you decide to overclock yours like we did. So you actually run the numbers at the new price point of that they're pushing the Bitmain Z9 now. The Z9 is still the better buy and that's the way Bitmain plays the game. That's how they keep their market dominance. I'm not saying it's a good thing and ultimately it's bad for us, the end consumers, because we end up with a flooded market. <coughs> Mr. D3, <coughs> Mr. D3, NA3, and <coughs> all the other ones. That's the ASIC game for you. If you want to play the ASIC game, prepare to get burned sooner or later. I've never seen a miner not ROI or reach its break-even point if you are the first batch adopter but i have seen 
some second batches and especially some third and fourth batches get burned so as always your mileage may vary and understand when you buy these miners <laughs> you're making a deal with the devil okay you're making a deal with the devil so there it is guys that's the ant miner z9 mini review there's really not much else to it it's a nice compact miner bitmain said that they made it smaller for more at home miners with only one fan that you can control the fan rate it can be pretty quiet and you can also change that fan out for a quieter one if you're worried about the noise so i didn't test the noise uh, exactly because i wanted to run my fan on maximum speed because i'm going for maximum overclock and i built out my mining shed for this purpose exactly so i don't have to sleep next to this thing this isn't something you can put in your bedroom and your girl is going to be happy about it but what you can do is put it into an isolated area or there's also the cooler design some people put these asic miners inside of coolers stuff we're going to mess around with if we ever get spare time but in the meantime make sure to subscribe to the boss coin youtube channel hit that subscribe button i already said that i don't know why i said it again i'm spamming thumbs up hit the bell i'll see you next time thanks for watching bro <laughs> sniping is that snapchat yeah god damn bro <laughs> Hey, bro, slow down on that clicking. Minimum clicks, bro, minimum clicks. All right, show up in it. I might. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I just didn't care about people watching it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I just didn't know. I just didn't know, all right?